Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Transfer Market TV. My name is Casper Pop and we're going to bring you the latest news and rumors from the top leagues around the world. And first of all today we're going to start with the focus and Thomas Müller who played his 566th game for Bayern Munich. So and he now surpassed Gerd Müller who had 565 games which just games for compulsory games for the Bundesliga promotion and no one has now more than Thomas Müller. And on the weekend we saw Manchester City and they have won all of their last 14 games in the competition and the last time it was the record set by Preston North End in 1982 and Arsenal in 1987. And two, they played against Liverpool and they saw in the third time home loss in a row and it never happened since the start of the Premier League in 1992. And Suarez had yesterday made a brace against Celta Vigo and is now breaking the La Liga record for the most goals in first 17 games for a club and he made 16 goals at all. Florian Wirtz made history with his fifth Bundesliga goal. Never before has a professional in the top German division managed to reach this mark before his 18th birthday. And now we're gonna have a look at the top five players who did so, the youngest players with five goals. And on the fifth spot is Ansu Fati, who did so when he was playing for FC Barcelona. And on the fourth spot is Neil Mopay, with 70 years, seven months and one day old. And with Bojan Krikic on the third spot for FC Barcelona as well. And then on the third, on the second spot, still Wayne Rooney, and he still was kicking for Everton FC with 17 years, 5 months and 13 days. On the top spot, and Bayer Ni Young, who just the striker who switched from Stadion to El Ali on this Sunday. And now we're coming to the done deals. And first of all, we're gonna have a look at Graziana Pelle, who after four and a half years returns from China to Europe. In the deal that was made at the weekend, he played for Shandong Lueng Taishan and is signed for Serie A side Parma Calcio. Now, his new contract at Parma, where he will partner up with Bayern Loni Joshua Sixe, will run until the end of the season. The Saudi Arabian side Al Ali announced on Sunday night the arrival of 20 year 6 or former Senegal international centre forward and buy any young on loan until the end of the season. The deal includes an option to buy. According to reports, there's an estimated loan fee around £1.35 million. The midfield position became vacant after former German international Marco Marine moved for a new club in Saudi Arabia. The attacking midfielder was loaned to Al Rayet. The new Marine employer announced the former Gladbach and Bremen player has now moved to the 11th club during the professional career. The Major League Soccer side FC Cincinnati just signed Brazilian striker Brenner from FC Sao Paulo. Transfermark understands that the 21-year-old Brazilian joined the club in a deal worth $13 million plus $2 million in performance-based add-ons. Sao Paulo will also retain 20% of the player's rights. On Friday night, Liverpool confirmed the signing of Kyrie Gordon from Derby County. The 16-year-old reportedly turned down a contract extension with the Rams to make his dream move. Rumour has it that Liverpool beat the likes of Manchester United and Tottenham to the prodigy and the deal could rise to £3 million, a significant price tag for a forward such a tender age. That said, he has already received some glowing reviews with Derby manager Wayne Rooney describing as one of the best trainers after calling him up to the senior squad. And that's it from the done deal so far and tomorrow we will see a Bundesliga market value update and Andre Silva will definitely be one of the big winners. So the 25-year-old Eintracht Frankfurt striker is the second most successful goal-getter in the Bundesliga behind Robert Lewandowski, a factor that had been noticed abroad. According to multiple sources, Atletico Madrid were interested in signing the striker this winter, but Atletico couldn't meet Frankfurt's expectations for a deal. Another club interested are the Wolverhampton Wanderers. Silva is currently under contract until 2023. The striker was signed on a permanent deal from Milan after spending the 1920 season on loan in Frankfurt. 
the Major League Soccer side Orlando City are in negotiations with Brazilian star Alexandre Pato. Writing for the Mexican outlet, AM Well Connected journalist Cesar Luis Merlo reported it yesterday. The 31 year old Brazilian striker has been without a contract since August 2020 when he was let go by FC Sao Paulo. With a market value of 3.5 million euros, Pato is the fifth most valuable free agent currently available. Orlando City are currently one of the teams interested in striker. Mel reported that Argentinos Juniors have also made an offer to the former Brazilian national team striker. Borussia Dortmund have drastically reduced the price tag for Jadon Sancho in a bid to tempt Man United back to the negotiation table. The 20-year-old winger was top of United's wish list in the summer, but Dortmund stood firm on their £108 million valuation. United were unable to stretch to that figure. A late bid in the region of £93 million was the best the Premier League club could offer, but Dortmund were not particularly interested in selling Sancho. A Sportbelt report, Dortmund are willing to drop their asking price to £88 million, a £20 million reduction on their previous demands. Sancho early season form in Germany had been affected by the speculation and United opted instead to invest in promising teenager Amadiallo to boost their right wing options. So the Bundesliga outfit are currently starring a losses mounting up to around 75 million euros. By selling one of their priced assets in Sancho Dortmund would be able to fill their financial hole while also having a little extra cash left over. The Gunners have now set a new target in Ashraf Hakimi. He might be one of five stars Inter Milan could let go this summer. Inter Milan desperately need to raise £146 million to ensure they can compete next season. Transfer fees combined with the coronavirus pandemic have plunged the club into financial crisis. Hakimi has been named alongside Alexander Kolarov, Ashley Young, Danilo D'Ambrosio and Matteo Damian. The 22-year-old is viewed by Arsenal as a possible replacement for Hector Bellerin. According to a report by Sky, RB Leipzig have found a replacement for Dario Upamecano, who will leave the club in the summer. Moad Simakan will join the club from AC Strasbourg Alsace next summer. Sky reported that if everything goes to plan, the 20-year-old will sign a five-year contract at the Red Bulls in the coming week. David Wagner is playing with the idea to return to England. After Jason Tindall left AFC Barmouth, the former Schalke coach is said to have kept an eye on the post at the second division. That's what the Athletic reports. The 49-year-old had to go at the end of September after missing a win for 18 Bundesliga games in a row. So he was in charge as manager of Huddersfield Town from November 15 to January 19. With the Terrace, he made it to the Premier League in 2017 for the first time since 1972. Another name that was dropped was 40 year old ex Chelsea player John Terry. Rafael Varane could apparently leave Real Madrid in the summer. According to Marsa, this could happen if the defender does not extend his contract, which still runs until 2022. According to report, Real will look for a buyer for the Frenchman should he underline his intentions to let his contract expire in the coming weeks. Next summer would likely be the last chance for Royals to generate a tidy transfer fee for Varane should he not extend. However, Real reportedly still intend to convincing Varane to extend his contract. Thiago Silva is keen to remain at Chelsea for another season, according to reports. The 36-year-old joined on a free transfer from Paris Saint-Germain last summer and has been one of Chelsea's most consistent performers this season. The Brazil international signed a one-year contract last August with the option to extend the deal for another 12 months. And according to the Telegraph, Silva wants to activate that option and Chelsea are expected to keep the experienced defender for another campaign. So there currently is a travel ban for people from England to travel to Germany. And because of that, the Champions League round of 16, two matches will be played in Hungary. After RB Leipzig have moved their home game against Liverpool to Budapest, UEFA has confirmed that the match between Borussia Mönchengladbach and Manchester City will also take place in the Hungarian capital. The Folds will face the citizens at the Puskas Arena on February 24th. Leipzig will play one week earlier on February 16th. So Borussia Mönchengladbach confirmed the news on Monday evening. We have to presume that the travel ban for passengers from the UK to Germany, which is currently in place until 17 February, will be extended and that the Manchester City team will not be granted special permission to travel to Mönchengladbach. Gladbach CEO Stefan Schippe said in a club statement. UEFA's regulations state that as the home side, we are required to find an alternative venue. For several reasons, we have decided to play the game at the Puskas Arena in Budapest. 
After seven games in the space of a month, appear to have done William Saliba's confidence a world of good. Playing regular football for his new club, Nice, he's earned praise for his performances in the heart of the defense and seems far more content with life after a stressful seven months at Arsenal. If he keeps things up, he will be well placed to challenge for a first team spot at the Emirates next season. That's if he doesn't burn all his bridges with Michael Ateta beforehand. He said, Ateta judged me on two and a half matches. I would have liked for him to play me more, but he told me I wasn't ready. While Saliba carries the sympathies of the majority of the Gunners fans who recognize he was treated carelessly at the club, he'd probably do well to keep his head down and focus on playing rather than talking. Paris Saint-Germain's last season was their most successful. Under their coach at the time, Thomas Tuchel, the team reached the final of the Champions League, became French champions as well as Cup, League and Super Cup winners. Bonuses of more than 20 million euros accumulated for these services, but the top club has not yet paid these out to professionals, as the Lequipe reports. This is initially around 1 million euros that every player is entitled to. The then player representatives Thiago Silva and Marquinhos are said to have agreed this with the sporting director Leonardo before the season. In contrast to other clubs, the Parisian players do not receive a bonus per game, but for the competition they win. Since this agreement was not anchored in their contracts, in contrast to individual bonuses, the association could try to extend the remuneration further. So this is Transfer Market TV for now. Have a lovely day. Please subscribe. Bye bye.